majesty of a great liner at sea is something that we, with our seafaring tradition, tend to take for granted these days. So when the cruising SS Arcadia docked at this delightful tourist spot, we disembarked too. Not to take in the usual haunts, but to pay tribute to a country whose affinity to the sea rivals that of our own. Yes, this is Lisbon, home base of countless adventures of the sea, where the Portuguese people erected the greatest monument that mankind has ever dedicated to the oceans, the Cathedral of St. Mary of Belém, better known as the Geronimus Abbey. To appreciate its tremendous spiritual significance, one need only recall the great seafaring heroes of Portugal. Men like Prince Henry the Navigator, Vasco da Gama, who discovered and opened the sea route to India, Diego de Arruda, and Camoens the poet. Even originally, this was the site of a hermitage dedicated to homecoming sailors. And then, in 1502, Don Manuel I began to transform a hut into a great palace to which Europe's greatest sculptors and artists contributed their individual styles. However, Lisbon certainly doesn't live in the past. It may be a city of beautiful churches and palaces, but westernmost of Europe's capitals, it's also a city of lovely parks. Parks with somehow a national character and appeal of their own. To most of Portugal's coastal towns, the sea means something different. At Lisbon, it's synonymous with the more serious aspects of tradition. At nearby Estoril, it brings life and gaiety to the most cosmopolitan of all her seaside resorts. And at ports like Cascais, it means work. Work in the colorful sardine boats. A country of physical contrasts, but overriding all differences, a country of sunshine and beauty. A country that is constantly being built for the future on the rock-like base of her glorious past.